The next sacred cow is work hard. Because my poor dad, a school teacher, great guy, PhD, he always says, I'm a good, hard-working man. And my rich dad had a different point of view, and he had me read this book by Mark Twain. It was a story of how, I think it was Huckleberry Finn or somebody, got the other kids to paint the fence for him. He says, yep. he says that's working hard. You want other people to work hard for you, and you want your money to work hard for you. That was his lesson. And a lot of people really, you know, they can't wait till Friday because they hate their work so much, and they dread Sunday because they have to go back to work. With us, I would say most of us are working 24-7, but we're working differently. And I love my work. It's challenging, there's problems and all that stuff, but I love it. So we work hard, but we don't work hard in the normal sense of working hard. The problem with working hard for money, because the rich don't work for money, the problem with working hard for money is you pay more in what, Tom? Taxes. Taxes. <laughs> the harder you work for money, the more you will pay in taxes, right? Well, right. If instead of working hard for, for money, like you're talking about, instead if you work for assets, then you pay a lot less taxes because the, the, the tax law, again, is geared towards building assets. Because as we build assets, we build the economy. Time out. The big difference between E's and S's and B's and I's, E's and S's focus on the income statement, and B's and I's focus on the asset column. My rich dad simply said to me, he says, assets put money in your pocket whether you work or not, and liabilities take money from your pocket. For example, my house is a liability because it takes money from my pocket every single month. Yet my rental properties are assets because they put money in your pocket whether you work or not. One of the reasons so many people are struggling financially today is they're buying liabilities they think are assets. As we build assets, the economy grows and the employees get benefits also because now we have more jobs for more employees. But on Michael's side, why are people working so hard is because the Fed's also working hard printing money, right? Yeah, people, uh, I've got friends that just say I need to get more hours or I need to get a second job or something like that. They're working harder to make a few more dollars, but they don't realize that over this entire past decade, the average uh, in real income after inflation has been falling. So the harder people work, the less they're making anyway because the government and the Federal Reserve, the banking system, they're basically stealing it from them. Can we bring in the, the bags of coins right now? Thank you. I'm not going to hold that. <laughs> oh, I'll give you an example. In the year 2000, one gold coin cost $300. So this is $300 in U.S. quarters. Today, in 2010, that same gold coin <laughs> it takes $1,100 to buy the same coin. So the reason people have to work so hard to keep up, to keep paying money, is because the value of your dollars are going down. So the insanity of going to get another job, pay more taxes, and work harder, when the, how, much, how many dollars did the Fed print in 2009? Uh, from August of 2008 uh, through uh, 2009, they created about one and a half times more paper dollars than it took 200 years, previous years, to print. So that's why people are working harder, because your money is worth less. And it isn't the coin that changed. People this don't change. understand that th it isn't this price going up, it's the value of the dollar falling. It's the currency that's changing. The can of soup in the grocery store, that can of Campbell's soup, it's the same can with the same contents from back in 1950 when it was 15 cents to today where it's a buck 95 or whatever it is. So that's why the rules have changed. In 1971, the U.S. dollar stopped being money and it became a? It became a currency, it became debt. It became an IOU from the federal government. And the thing is, they can print as much as they like of it. And the more they print, the harder you have to work. It all takes place in your head. Take this glass here. In this case, the glass here is context. It holds the content, in this case, the water. E's and S's have a different context than B's and I's. Having a different context, E's and S's attract the sacred cows like go to school, work hard, you know, live below your means. B's and I's having a different context entirely attracts a different type of content, different type of information, different type of education. Money is created out of your head. If you're a true B&I, you're not concerned. 
is because just like the Fed, we can print our own money.